Why? Why is this happening? As one school after another in our area deals with threats of violence, lockdowns, copycats, and ultimately and probably inevitably actual crimes, and as we as parents sit in terror as we contemplate what is best for our children, can we trust our schools? When can we trust our schools? Consider one undeniable fact. Science has long ago proven that media coverage of events such as the recent Florida school shooting creates a media contagion effect. That's what social scientists call it, that perpetuates and encourages violence. It is also established that the cycle of violence may be becoming more frequent. Both sides may skew the numbers of actual crimes or actual gun deaths as they will, but I would think any objective analysis would suggest that mass shootings are as frequent, if not more frequent, than they've ever been, whether or not gun deaths or crimes are increasing or decreasing. Science has developed clear evidence of the likely causes of this effect, and thus they've offered guidelines that media should adhere to in reporting on such tragedies. As you watch our nation, once again torn over debates about gun control, mental illness, bullying, depression, and whether more or less guns are a cause or solution to the problem, and who, which party or politician, is to blame, have you heard one word about the media role in this madness? Social scientists in a group called ALERT, A-L-E-R-R-T, that's Pete Blair's Advanced Law Enforcement Rapid Response Training Research Team at Texas State University San Marcos, which by the way collates and analyzes data on active shooting events for the FBI, in conjunction with the FBI and victims' families, have long ago developed a suggested approach for media outlets regarding reporting on mass homicide. Consider some of these. The perpetrator's name and image should not be published, especially when there's no law enforcement reason to. If the perpetrator has died in the event or is captured, why do we need to know what he looks like? Why do we need to know his name? Media should avoid preoccupation with weapons, strategies, and tactics. Media should refrain from body counts and comparisons with other shooters, particularly where we're talking about those other shooters by name, which can only perpetuate their heroism to people who might copy them. Media should refrain from the hyperbolic, lurid, and graphic details and report as somberly as possible the event. Media should not publicize and especially should not emphasize the helplessness of actual and potential victims. Science suggests that if media is concerned for its audience and its own responsibility, that it would spend more time focusing on personal loss, sorrow, and sadness following these events than the perpetrator, the perpetrator's life, circumstances, writings, affiliations, challenges, medications, conditions, and the like, lest anyone identify with the perpetrator. Media, likewise, should spend more time highlighting, highlighting acts of heroism during and following the event. More time, not just some time. Ask yourself, has media been responsible? Do you know who the perpetrator is? Could you identify him? Do you know him by name? Do you know where he lives? Do you know his family background? Do you know whether he was bullied or bullied? Do you know whether he was a socially accepted person or an outcast? Do you know what weapon he used? Do you know whether he took medications? And if so, what for? Have you heard witnesses describe their terror? Have you seen videos of the helplessness of victims? Have you heard commentators say things like, nothing can stop these shooters? Have you heard discussion of the carnage that can be inflicted by this weapon or that weapon, including depictions of the weapons and discussions of how effective they can be, the size of their magazines, the number of bullets that they can shoot, and how quickly? Think about all that you know, all that you've seen, all that you've heard, and the incessant demonization of the media of both sides of any issue. You, they don't care. You, they are fascist. You or they don't condone violence or do condone violence. And more importantly, you or they care more for whatever than you care for your kids. As your mind swims with the implications of how the media has impacted you, remember that if you're listening to this, 
You're probably a busy, responsible adult with but a few minutes a day to turn attention to this event between work and taking care of your family and your personal life. You probably have to admit that you really don't know as much as you probably should and more have experienced only a fraction of the drone of media in our 24 hour a day, seven days a week news cycle. Now, imagine that you're a teenager with access to two to three hours a day to broadcast television and an hour or two access to the internet. The reporting goes day after day, week after week, into months. You are bored with your games, you are bored with school, and you have time on your hands. Now go ahead and ask that question again. Why? Why is this happening? Thank <laughs> you.